Welcome to another video with Alpha Star FC. Today I'm joined by Wakar in what is going to be the last preview of the season in a game against Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. And uh, yeah, this game means a lot. We can get top four or we can get Europe League. Uh, so yeah, this game's this game matters a lot. This game's are probably the biggest game of the season. And today I'm joined by Wakar. Uh, Wakar, how are you feeling uh, for the game tomorrow? You know, I, I just want to win tomorrow. You know, I, I'm seeing some Liverpool fans think that, you know, Tottenham are going to beat Leicester because Harry Kane's last game, whatever, whatever. We, we need to win our game, that's it. We don't need to think about other results, you know. You see in Klopp, um, press conference, you know, he said that I'm not going to be, I don't I don't care what's going on, I just want to focus on this game. And I think that's what we should do as fans as well. We should not focus on another game, you know, when if we win our game, you know, we get top four. And I feel like Crystal Palace will be up for it, you know, because... um. Roy Hodgson's ever last ever um, game ever, you know, managing um, a football club. So I feel like they might be up for it, you know. Um, I think we'll be up for it, you know, with the fans, you know, pushing on the players. We're gonna see, um, we're gonna see the fans back in Anfield, you know. I think it's gonna help them a lot. We're gonna see a bit more confidence in the boys, and um, obviously, you know, it is probably Genie when I was last game for the club, and you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to act like I didn't say he was shit this season. He, he wasn't the best this season, you know. But, you know, you can't, you just have to, you just, Gene Ram's leaving us, you know. He's just, he's been probably, he turned up in all the big games, you know, Barcelona, you know, um, he scored against Middlebus, Middlesbrough to get us top four, you know. You know, he's he's been, our last season, he was a great player, just this season, he's not been the best. And, you know, it's just, it, I, I really wanted to do well um tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I think there's a lot of things that take place in this game and there's a lot of uh, things on the line when it comes to this game. Um, of course, last time out against Crystal Palace, we did uh, thrash them 7-0. Uh, Goal starting from Minamino and Sadio Mane and etc. But of course, Klopp was like in an interview, it would be stupid to look at 7-0 and I totally agree with him. I think Crystal Palace are a good side now, I think. They had the lack of Eze, who suffers an Achilles injury. Sadly, he will miss out this game. And But then you have the likes of Christian Benteke, who's been excellent this last half of the season. And I think that's where Nat Phillips will be key in his in his aerial battles with Christian Benteke. Because I think most of Christian Benteke's goals have been headers, which, let's be honest, we've we been decent at dealing with set, play, uh, set pieces. We haven't been the best. And then you had the skill of Rayford Zaha, whether he can... Bambuza Trent or not, Trent is in good form, so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, again, this uh, this game comes with a lot of um, things, one of them being this will be the last game. Most likely, this will be the last game with Gini Wijnaldum. Absolutely club legend. We we all wish him the best of Melfast Star FC wherever he goes, because it was just a class player. He turned up in the big occasions, like Bukar said. Turned up against Barcelona, turned up against Middlesbrough. That spectacular goal against um, Everton. Whenever we need him, he was there. He's consistent. He's always reliable. Again, it was just this season that some Liverpool fans slated him. It's because he wasn't performing to the GD we know as, which is why a lot of us got angry. But enough of that. Um, how would you set up for this game tomorrow? Or will you, or will you set up with an offensive approach? Or will you go... All out is because we know Crystal Palace are side, not like a Burnley or West Brom that like to sit back. They have a team that they, they they can defend, but they can like also attack when they need to. So, how do you think we should set up in this game? I think we should try and set up like as a big game, you know, because Crystal Palace they've got they've got nothing to lose, you know. They can, you know, they're not they're not a team that just sit back and just yeah, these Liverpool whatever whatever they're gonna try and attack us, you know. Um, you know, we've got a Nat Phillips, but then, yeah, again, we Williams, you know, he's he's been all right this season, you know, it's just a lack of um experience and, you know, teams are targeting him. And um Burnley we we did um we did enough to um to to not cause problems. But you know, Christian Benteke, you know, he will um you know, he could you know, Wilfred Zaha um could play on the right to um bamboozle Reese Williams because he's not he's not the best, you know what I mean? And I feel like we should, we should, try, we need to, we need to take our chances. We we need to take our chances. Literally, um, if we took all our chances, we'd not be in the situation. We'd be, we'd be above United. I can guarantee you that because the amount of games 
you know, Salah would be on about 30 goals. It's just not been good enough to see. So we need to be sharp in front of goal because, you know, Crystal Palace, they can score goals. They've got um, Zaha, Benteke, you know, Benteke is clinical. Zaha can just turn a man and, you know, find a pass to Benteke and Benteke will score. Yeah, I agree. I think we have to be um, offensive in the way that we approach this game. But whilst being offensive, we really need to finish our chances because if we don't finish our chances, we saw Newcastle, we saw Leeds. What happens? We draw. And we cannot afford to draw this game because this game is a must win. We shouldn't worry. We shouldn't worry if Tottenham beat Leicester. We shouldn't worry if Leicester lose, uh, etc. We just need to focus on getting the three points. Our goal difference is already good. Let's try and make that even better. Let's try to get a three nil win tomorrow, four nil, five nil, and let's just try to get top four. Um, um, what do you think on the uh, uh, fitness on um, Diogo Jota and Jordan Henderson? Because I'm looking at this. Jordan Henderson participated in the first team training yesterday and the club did also say that Jota has a small chance. But by the looks of it, Jota didn't um, train at all, which I think does make him unlikely for the game tomorrow. But there is a chance that Henderson does make it. So what if Henderson would be available for the game tomorrow? Waka, do you fit him in to just one time see that Thiago, Fabinho and Henderson uh, midfield? So, uh, or do you want to keep him back and not rush him back? Because I'd rather to keep him like because I want him to go to the Euros I want him to play with England so I'd rather not play him and play like Gene Van Alden instead either way I think um, if, if, uh, if if we're thinking about Jürgen Klopp he will pick um, Van Alden you know last game for the club but all the fans want to see what Henderson can do with, alongside Thiago and um, Fabinho but you know if I'm being realistic it'll probably he'll probably be on the bench or he'll just be um just be left at home, you know. I don't think he'll. I mean, I don't. I, I don't know. I feel like realistically, he'll start Wijnaldum hundred percent because the last game for the club. If he does leave, um, but obviously, as us Liverpool fans, we want to see what he can do alongside Thiago and Fabinho. So I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I hundred percent agree with that. Um, so let's go into the team predictions then. Okay, my team predictions. Um, I'm gonna go. Um, Alisson go. Right back. I'm gonna go Trent. Centre back, I'm going to go Phillips. Left centre back, Williams wasn't pictured in training, but I don't think there is anything wrong with him. So I'm going to go William, uh, Williams at left, uh, left centre back. Left back, I'm going to go Robertson. And then I have a midfield three of um, Genie, Fabinho, Thiago. That midfield is going to be crucial if we need to win that game. And I fully trust that midfield with their experience and hopefully the skill they bring to the table. And then the front three, we cannot pick anyone else because Diogo Jota is out for this game. So it will be the main front three of Salah, Firmino and Mane. And my word, Mane has to turn up again. This is going to be another legacy game. In his last seven games, he has scored... Ed, he, in his last seven games, he scored against Crystal Palace. Every game he scored against Crystal Palace. So I think going into this game, his track record, uh, Mane's track record against Crystal Palace is very good. So I ho- hopefully I see a goal for Mane on the last day in front of fans as well. Because fans are going to play a huge part. 10,000 fans... You, you, even if it's that little, it'll help a football club a lot. It's because we've missed the fans. We're one of the clubs that have been affected by fans a lot. So, in terms of fans, I'm really happy that it's going to be back because it's going to give a big morale boost to the uh, team. But that's my star in 11 prediction. What's yours, Wakar? Um, You know, the big man in goal, Alisson, um, Trent, um, I think, Reese Williams and Nat Phillips got to start together. You know, they've been... They've not been solid, but they've done a good job so far. Andy Robertson, um, Fabinho, um, Thiago. I want to see, you know, what he can do because the fans will be, you know, all, all Liverpool fans love Thiago and, you know, him getting the support and he'll see the support and hear the support. So, you know, I, I just can't wait for that. Um, alongside him, Gino and Aldem, you know, I, I really want him to do well tomorrow. You know, is it's probably his last game for the club, you know. Just like I said at the start of this, um, I'm not going to say I don't call him shit because he's not, he's not as good. He's not as good this season, you know. He kept ruining the attacks, but you know he's a club legend. And we see a club legend leave the club. It's a sad moment, you know. We're going to miss him, you know. All the great moments he did for us, you know. Without him, Barcelona would not have been possible. He scored many, many top goals. You know, we thank him for everything he's done, and I hope he scores tomorrow because that's all I want from him. Um, I think Salah, you know, absolute goal machine. I want him to score tomorrow as well. But at the same time, I want Harry Kane to win it, um, the Golden Boot as well, because he's had a magnificent season at Tottenham and Tottenham have just been shit this season. But, you know, 
I want Tottenham to lose to, no, I want Tottenham to win tomorrow as well because of Leicester. But we should focus on this game. I think Firmino, you know, big game player, you know, the season. The only thing that's inconsistent about him is his finishing. Apart from that, he's just class. You know, everything is. is I mean, sometimes his passing can be a bit poor, but you know, it's probably lack of confidence. You know, and I think Manny, Manny. Let me talk to you about this guy, yeah? Very good player. This season, he's been shit. Just like Gini Wijnaldum. I want him to do well as well tomorrow. You know, it's, he's got a very good record, like you said. And, you know, I think the fans will help him. But, you know, this season, he's been terrible. You know, compare him to last season. Even last season, he was amazing. This season, is just like, he's lost. He can't even beat a man sometimes. You know, you'd see... Um, some like Luke Ailing, he would turn, he would last season, he would twist and turn him. This season, he won everything against uh, Manny and uh, other fullbacks, you know. So I feel like I want Manny to do well tomorrow, and yeah, yeah, I think you've been there. I think that's probably going to be the lineup as well. I, I'd be really surprised if I were to see a change in the lineup. Maybe GD, I have a feeling Klopp might think it is end that because when a player is injured. Uh, when a player does get injured near the end of his contract, it's very saddening because, especially if it's long term, yeah, exactly. Like it's bench him and then time. bring him on. So maybe that might be a factor to just start him for half an hour, half time, and bring them bring him off at like the sixty minute mark. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But again, club legend. We really do hope the best for him. Whether he goes to Barcelona, whether he goes to Bayern Munich, Feyenoord, we just wish him the best and. Um, that is the end of the last preview of the season. Uh, make sure to drop a like uh, and uh, subscribe to our five stars. You've got to score season. predictions. Huh? You've got to score predictions. Score predictions. What's your score predictions? Well, it's, it's tough, you know, because if Leicester starts smashing up Tottenham here, yeah, then we need to score goals. So it, it just it just depends what, you know, if, if Leicester, you know, we can score, I think it'll be 2 0, yeah, but. Um, as soon as Leicester starts smashing up Tottenham, we need to start scoring goals. So I'm not really sure. I feel like I, I think it'll be two 0 Liverpool. You know, I think Mane and um, Salah. No, I think Genie and Salah. Sorry, Genie and Salah. But then you know, if if, if the other game, you know, Leicester smashing them up, then you know we got to do something about it. So I'm not really sure. But I'm saying two 0 You're muted. Yeah, I'm going to go 3-1 uh, I'm going to go uh, hopefully a G Varad and go to see his Anfield career Salah so he can win the golden boot hopefully and then Mane go so that's free and then Benteke I think he'll score this unique one from a set piece and that is the end of the video thank you for watching if you had reached the end of this video uh, drop a like uh, target like is 30 likes for this video um, drop a so, uh, subscribe to Alpha Star FC for more content in the summer. Maybe we might do some Euro previews of England. We don't know. Or maybe more watch alongs in the Euros. What would you like to see? Drop in the comments below. Um, I'll, I'll join by Wakar today. Thank you for joining us. And um, you'll never walk alone. Let's hope we get top four.